So in this video, I will be talking about surgery prep and some of the basic things you should know. First, anything that is yellow is only for GP, which means general practice. Second, everything should be double bagged, so it should look like this. Third, anything that is plastic will go in the gas machine, which looks like this. Anything else will go in the autoclave which looks like this. Also, anything that is specialty equipment or instruments, that needs to be left for the specialty services team. Normally, they will leave a note asking you to leave it if it belongs to that department. So the next part of the video is going to be how to clean instruments. So the first thing you wanna do is clean it with the enzyme cleaner. You want to do a couple of pumps and then fill it up with water. Normally, technicians will leave this soaking while they're going and cleaning the OR. So let it soak for about 10 minutes. Once it's done soaking, you can go ahead and start cleaning it. They say you should scrub it almost like if you were going to eat with it. You can use any of the instruments found around the sink area. And then you get your brush wet and you scrub every little part of every instrument. Once you have scrubbed every inch of the instrument, you can go ahead and rinse it with water. And then you'll want to put it into the ultrasonic cleanser and set the timer for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, if you happen to be by, you can go ahead and rinse them off and then set them to dry. And that is how you clean and disinfect instruments. I forgot to mention, we also have this chemical. A lot of people refer to it as milk. It's almost like a lubricant, so you will want to spray it anywhere where instruments tie together, like shown in this video, or on scissors and such things. Once the instruments are done drying, you can go ahead and wrap them. So you want to choose whichever package best fits the instrument. And again, you want to double wrap them. So whenever you're wrapping instruments, you don't want to twist the pieces together like that and wrap them. That is incorrect. You want to make sure you take the pieces apart before placing them in the autoclave. Once the instruments are double wrapped, you want to go ahead and seal it and then place your initials on the white part and date it. And then you can place it in the basket on top of the autoclave and you're finished. With this instrument, since there is an electrical cord attached to it, we just scrub the pen part and then we wipe the cord down with a XL wipe. So the pen part, again, you can scrub it with that or you can come over here and grab the XL wipes and clean the pen and the cord part. Do not submerge the cord into water. It's electrical. Also, since this has plastic in it, it will go in our gas sterilizer, not our autoclave. The next part of this video is gonna be cleaning your endotracheal tubes. So the first thing you wanna do is grab your chlorhexidine solution and pour that into one of the containers we have mixed with some water. Put whatever tubes that you use during the surgery and let them soak while you clean the OR. So for about 10 minutes, let them soak. You also wanna make sure that you are inflating the tube after it's used. So that's what it looks like when it's not inflated and then when it is inflated, that's what it looks like. Again, let them soak. Once they're done soaking, you can go ahead and grab a brush, 
scrub the outside and then you can grab one of the smaller straw looking things that are furry and clean the inside of the tube. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and rinse them. Once you're done rinsing them, you can go ahead and put the tubes in this area for 48 hours to dry. After that 48 hours is done, you will go ahead and move the tube to this section for an additional 48 hours. After that, you can go ahead and package them. When it comes to packaging the endotracheal tubes, the first thing you want to do after the drying process is complete is deflate them, like shown in this video. And then you can go ahead and pick out your proper bag that you need to bag them. The other important thing to keep in mind is when you're bagging them, they do not need to be double bagged like every other instrument does. For the endotracheal tubes, you just have to bag them once. And after it's sealed, you go ahead and you want to date it and put your initials on it. And also keep in mind, since this is plastic, you want to put it in the gas sterilizer. And don't forget to add your piece of tape onto the packaging as well. So the last part of this video is how we clean the ultrasonic cleanser. So the first thing that you'll see is that it's filled up with blue water. You want to unclamp the tube that's connected to the machine and it will eventually all drain out. It takes about two minutes. Once everything is drained out, it will look like this. And then you just clean everything like you would a dish. So you'll take some soap onto the blue scrub brush, wipe out inside of the container and um, the silver piece that is it goes inside of the container. Once everything is wiped out, you can go ahead and fill it back up with water. So the next step would be grabbing a tabs that are located on the right side of the sink in surgery prep. You'll also want to make sure that you reclamp the tube that is coming from the machine. Then you're gonna go ahead and take this piece out of the machine and place your tab on the very bottom. And you wanna go ahead and start filling it up with water. Once the machine is about halfway full with water, you can go ahead and place that part back in the machine with the lid and you are finished. If you guys have any questions or concerns regarding anything to do with surgery prep, please don't hesitate to ask.